Welcome to Beyond Broken Hungry. Juggling your career, relationships, nutrition, fitness, finance, try to pursue your dreams and <laughs> stay sane can be a bit of a struggle. With the help of expertise from a variety of wellness experts and tips and tricks from everyday people, this podcast is here to share it all to make this journey we call life just a little more balanced. I'm stumbling towards wellness right alongside you, and I'm so happy to have you come along this journey. With that in mind, let's jump into this week's episode of Beyond Broken Hungry. Hello, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to another episode of Beyond Broken Hungry. I am your host, Dara Sweat, and I was super sick last week. Um, you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, a um, little nasally, little sore throat, congestion. Luckily, no COVID, no flu, no strep throat, nothing like that. Just just gunk. <laughs> just a gunk that is taking forever to go away. Um, I very, very, very rarely get sick. And when I do, it's like I usually either have the flu or strep or something serious um, or it's kind of like this gunk that just doesn't want to go away. So I did some like homeopathic medications to like help me get through it. Um, and I did have to take cough medicine. It's really just at night that is the worst. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like when I get sick, like I can feel, I could feel like 70, 75% like during the day, but at night, oh my gosh, like I have to like lean myself up. I, I can't sleep comfortably. Like I wake up in the middle of the night coughing. Right now, it's hard to breathe out of my nose, so my mouth is getting super dry. So it's just, it's just been a mess. But I made a commitment to do this podcast again, and I didn't want to skip a week because I didn't want that habit um, to start no matter what. And if I had been like really, really sick, then obviously I would have, um, I would have like made an announcement that I was going to skip this week or something. But feeling a lot better and have the energy to do it today, so I figured. I'm going to just do it and and get it done so that we can get some great content out for you. So today we're going to be talking about, we're done with the, I took a break, how's it, how to get back into it, blah, blah, blah. We might still talk about that later on in a different way. But for now, I want to switch some gears as now we're in November. So Halloween's over, we're in the season of Thanksgiving, and we're about to go into Christmas. And there are so many already, so many baked goods, so many this recipe, so many party things, this, that, and the third that are coming out. And those things are great. So this, I do not want you guys to go into this episode thinking that I'm telling you that you have to restrict, that you can't eat this, you can't eat that. I just want to talk about some healthy swaps. So if you're like me, you maybe have a lot of friends or you're involved in a lot of things and there's always a, you know, party potluck thing going on that you have to bring yourself to um, or maybe you just want a holiday treat around at the house or some kind of like thing at the house that you can munch on that's like holiday-esque so I'm gonna share some healthy twists on some of those favorite ep- recipes again this is not to tell you that you have to do this or whatever but I I during this season like to have treats I like to you know, eat the fun things and whatever, but eating the fun things all of the time is where those those pounds and those body fat packaging starts to come in. So in order to kind of make it a little bit more balanced, still enjoy the tasting, I want to share some things with you. So we all love our comfort food, right? That's literally what this holiday season is about. Then there's so many things throughout the year, the year, the rest of the year that you can eat that are comfort food wise too, but I feel like it especially comes out this time of year. So many of those classic recipes can be healthy or unhealthy fats, uh, processed ingredients. So the good news is that you don't have to give up the dishes that you love. You can easily make them more balanced and nutritious in a few smart ways. So what are these smart ways, you ask? I'm going to tell you. Number one, cheese overload. I love cheese. Cheese is one of my favorite food groups. I guess it would be dairy, but cheese is one of my favorite things. And I don't discriminate. I love all kinds of of cheese. Um, Gouda is a weird smell, but it does taste good. You know, I just recently, a couple, within the last couple of years, gone on the blue cheese train when I was very inverted to blue cheese for a really long time. But love cheese. Love it shredded. Love it cubed. Love it creamy. Like, love it in almost any way that you can have cheese. I love it. It adds a lot of great flavor, and but more than one-fourth per serving can quickly add up in those fats and calories. So 
if you try to do some swaps this way, you can use part skim cheese um, or a combination of regular cheese. And what I've been doing lately is cottage cheese to, you know, have that kind of lighter option. So, for example, um, I'm experimenting with a kind of I'm calling them pancake puffs <laughs> recipe that I've been making and I haven't posted it yet because I'm still perfecting it. <laughs> but the recipe calls for like a cup of shredded cheese. So instead of doing a cup of shredded cheese, I did half a cup of the cheese and then half a cup of cottage cheese. Um, and I did like a low fat cottage cheese, whatever, but it's more protein and a little bit lighter on the fat. So that is one area that you can kind of swap those things for. Um, and, you know, it ends up coming out really, really good. Um, number two is those creamy culprits. So cream sauces, heavy cream, half and half, mayonnaise, they're delicious, but they're super high in fat. So a healthier alternative is like a full fat coconut milk or Greek yogurt um, that can give you that creamy taste, um, but while keeping things lighter. So for example, um, I made pasta a couple weeks ago and I had some tomato sauce because I accidentally got like a really big can of tomato sauce. Um, and I was like, well, you know, I have Greek yogurt and I have this tomato sauce. So I mixed the Greek yogurt and tomato sauce together and it gave this like more creamier tomato base sauce with the pasta and it made it taste really really good um and you know things like for instead of sour cream when you do like tacos or taco bowls or enchiladas or whatever just use plain use plain greek yogurt because yeah, otherwise if you get a flavor it's not going to come out as good but um that's how i'll kind of swap that out too so just very very simple but effective ways to swap that out so if you have a recipe that calls for cream cheese, just use plain Greek yogurt. And it basically does the same th exact thing. It's the same consistency, but you get a little higher protein and it's lower in fat. Um, number three, processed meats. So instead of using traditional processed meats, opt out for leaner cuts like chicken sausage, turkey bacon, or grass-fed beef. Um, so those options reduce unhealthy fats and provide more nutrients. Doug prefers that we have tacos every single Tuesday. So not every Tuesday do I want to be eating ground beef, but every now and then I like to have it in there. So instead of ground beef, I'll do ground so turkey or ground chicken. Um, and it just makes it a little bit more of a leaner option. Or I will find the, the beef that has like the lowest percentage of fat. Like that's what we kind of want to go for. And so by making these like super simple changes, you can still enjoy your favorite dishes and stay aligned with your goals. The key is to be creative and experiment with different ingredients. You might discover that you like new flavors and some new things. You never know. What recipes are you using your healthy swaps for? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. I want to hear your idea. Keeping this one short and sweet this week, just giving you a little bit of ideas of what you can do going into this season where it is baked good and everything is covered in cheese and how you can maybe make some healthier options. Thanks for tuning in. You got this friend. Till next time. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to Beyond Broken Hungry wherever you get your podcasts so you get notified every time a new episode drops. It would also mean the world to me if you rate, review, and share the podcast too so more people can join the BBH tribe. Until next time, you got this friend.